Hi my friends, in this video we continue with set methods. I will create the two sets quickly. Some elements of the second set will be the same with the first set. So I just copy it. Okay, let's examine the methods. I want to go through a scenario, so let's let's make a scenario quickly. If you want to get elements that are common to both sets, how can we find out it? So we can do it with intersection method. I want to show you quickly. Let's write parent exam. Sorry, first not fur first sets first. Sorry, first, I couldn't write it, first set, okay. First set dot intersection the second set. If I run it, check the terminal. We got the elements that are common to both this set and the that set. We have green hair and hair, blue, same and the yellow, you know. I also want to mention intersection update. I want to show you first. We have an intersection method and the intersection underscore update method. Actually, there is no difference in terms of the operation between intersection and the intersection update. But intersection creates a new list. I mean, it returns a new list of intersection elements. While intersection update modifies the existing set here. If you watched my video about list methods, it is the same as the difference between sort and sorted methods. I'll leave the link above, you can watch it. Now go back to our main topic. We don't need it. There will be no difference in the result if we change the places of the sets here. I mean, if I write a second list, second set here, and uh, if I write first set here, there will be no difference in the result. Because, as I said, the intersection method is used to detect the elements that are common. So, if I run it, we got the same result. We can also use ampersand instead of the intersection keyword here. Let me show you. Just write uh, second set, the ampersand, and the first list. I will add a gap here. There is no difference between this and that. So if I delete it and I run it again, look at the terminal, the same result next scenario is that if we want to assemble two sets how could we do it of course we can do it with i will just write like that with union let's see the usage i will just see the same first set dot union and the second set if i run it check the terminal this time we have assembled the tool list. It didn't print the elements that are common to both of them over and over. We got them in our set once. Remember the definition of set which says that sets have unique elements. We can also use OR operator instead of union keyword here. Let me show you. First set OR operator and the second set they are the same so if i print it look at the terminal we have the same result the next scenario is that if we want to catch elements that exist in one set but not in the other set how can we do it we are going to use difference method let me show you difference For example, if I write first set dot difference second set. If we write it in this way, it means that 
it will find out items that are in first set but not in second set so let's print it look at the terminal black is in the first set but not in the second set and the red is the same red is here but not in the second set but if I change the places of it so if I write second set here and the first set here let's print it this time we got different results we check items that are in the second set but not in the first set so gray is here but not in the first set it doesn't exist in the first set the white doesn't exist in the first set as well and then we can use minus as you can guess instead of difference keyword here let me show you second set minus first set so if we run it we got the same result I'm going to clean my editor I also want to mention symmetric difference but before that let's talk about what it does it returns a set that contains all items from both sets except items that are present in both sets you will understand better with an example let me show you let's say first set dot symmetric difference the second set let's run it look at the terminal it printed red white gray black these are elements that are not present in both sets at the same time I mean red is red exists uh, in the first set but not in the second set white uh, exists in second set but not in the first set gray exists here but not here and the black exists here but not here I hope you understood I continue I would like to talk about the subset method let me show you subset method as you can catch a clue from its name you can guess what it does I am deleting the last two elements here to understand the subset method in deep now we are going to check if this second set is a subset of first set I mean we check whether all the elements in the second set are also in the first set let me show you what I mean second set is subset ex uh, first set if I run it it's printed true but if I add one more color here which doesn't exist in the first set let's run it again we got false because not all elements in the second set exist in the first set that's why we got false so I delete it the other thing the, the other thing I want to mention is superset method which is the opposite of the subset method let me show you let's write print and then let's check if first set is superset of second set let me show you how we do it first set is is superset second set if we run it we got true I want to explain it one more time if all the elements in second set exist in the first set then first set becomes superset here and uh, finally I want to talk about pop method let me show you pop method it is a little different than the pop method that we learned while examining the list methods you know that if we don't specify any parameter to the pop method in the list it deletes the item at the end of the list 
but the pop method in sets doesn't take any parameters because the sets are already unordered it randomly delays the items from the set let me show you the first set dot pop and of course i need to print my set again if we run it look at the terminal it randomly deleted one of the items in the set we can also detect the deleted item like pop method in list so we can print it or we can assign it to a variable so if we run it again the blue has been removed that's the all methods i was going to mention i hope it was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video